Welcome to our 24 national dish and this is Salteñas from Bolivia. You might notice that on this episode I did a lot more fast forward than usual or smaller cuts because there's a lot to do for this recipe. And apparently in Bolivia not many people cook salteñas at their house but they eat it all the time. They're like stores and bakeries that sell them. But not many people do it at house because it's a lot of work. In South America every country has their own version of empanadas and every country thinks that their empanadas are the best. And they're very different from country to country. So the story goes that a couple of ladies moved from the province of Salta in Argentina to Bolivia and they fell in hard times and what they did is they perfected or changed a bit the local recipe of the Bolivian empanada and they started selling it and that's how they became the Salteñas. And though this is Bolivia's episode, I still wear, wear my Argentina shirt you know, represent. A lot of people seem to like the fun facts from the country, so here are some Bolivian fun facts. Bolivia has two capital cities, Sucre and La Paz. There is two different voting ages in Bolivia, and it all depends on your marriage status. So if you're married, you can vote at 18. If you're not married, you have to wait until you're 21. I think that that must came from a place of, you know, if you're married, you're more responsible and you can choose better, but I gotta say, if you're married at 18, you might not be making the best of choices. Oh, as you can see, we use the rest of the Belizean achiote for this recipe, so for whoever is following along and cooking all those recipes, you must have some achiote left over and use it for this one. Okay, 70% uh, of the world supply of Brazil nuts come from Bolivia, which uh, I think they should change the name to Bolivia nuts, I guess. As you can see, my friend Tamara is helping here again, and we were just laughing about my mom's opinions about cumin tasting like armpit. And then we busted out the cumin for this recipe, and it did smell a little bit like B.O. I was really excited about this folding of the empanada part, because I've seen it on videos, people doing different folding techniques. And what you're seeing here, I think it's called beginner's luck, because this empanada turned out beautiful. But I think that was the only one that turned out beautiful. The other ones are kind of like Frankensteins. Look at that. Then we have a little bit of leftover dough. And while we're cooking, we had a charcuterie board out, you know, just to snack a little bit. And we used the leftover dough. And we made charcuterie board filled empanadas. They were delicious. Now let's see what the judges have to say. Tamara grabbing it from the side. She likes it. Oh, look at that. She's very excited about it. Her daughter likes it. My oldest, let's see. Mixed emotions. Middle kid, same mixed emotions. And the youngest loves it. <laughs> 